shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby, I can't help me. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back again with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this modded Black Jugger CEO vest outfit here. On the screen, with the white racing shoes, the white ripped shirt, and this white sport top as well. With the mask and helmet glitch, using the transfer glitch, after the latest patch of 1.51. So, hope you guys do want to enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to leave a like. And also, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy my content, So I'm also currently known as 3k. And also, comment if you want to see more outfits like these. So anyways, with this transfer glitch, this will delete all the outfits you have, except from the one you have on. So, and the outfit you will need as well is the black joggers with CEO vest, because that's what will be merging. So I'll leave a link in the description of how to get that. So as you guys can see here, I have the black joggers with CEO vest on. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description of how to get that outfit, because you will need that outfit to do these um, with the outfit um, glitches. So yeah, so you need to make sure you have that outfit. So now once you have that outfit, you should bring up your pause menu, go to online and go to swap character. So now once you've loaded into the swap character menu, you want to go over to the second character and press X to start editing. But if you already have a second character, then I just recommend deleting that, just to make sure the glitch works. So if, if it's, um, and you also want to copy this rank here, so this alert, just go ahead and accept that. So now if it's a male character for you, you just want to go ahead and switch to female. But if it's already a female like me, you can just go ahead and go to save and continue, then load into GT Online. So I'll see you guys once I've loaded into GT, um, into GT Online. So now once you guys have loaded into GTA Online, you just want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu and just check if you have any closed doors on the map. So as you guys can see, I have, um, I have closed doors. But if you don't have any closed doors, then just bring up your pause menu, go over to Online and go to Find New Session. But if you already have closed doors, then that's completely fine. You can just make your way to any of them. It doesn't matter which one you go to, just make your way over to any of them. So as you guys can see, I've made my way over to the closed door here. So now you want to quickly go to the accessory section, go to the earrings. Then you want to go to number 40 to just equip the B and W earrings. So B and W deco earrings or deco. So this will um, this will just merge over the scarf. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you equip them, and uh, sorry that means like you can like equip the scarf. That's what I meant. So so now you want to go to the pants section and then go to sports pants or go to sport muscle pants and just equip number one. So they should they should just be number one. So now once you equip them, make it over to the top section. Now go to the sports jackets. So now once you're at sports jackets, you want to scroll over to number 68. So it might take a couple of seconds. You just want to scroll over to number 68. So now once you're at 68, it should be the dark blue Guffy Puffer, you want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, just back out and make it over to the bus stairs section. So now once you're at the bus stairs, you want to go over to number 13. And it should be the teal lace bus stair, so you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, just back out and then make it over to the shoe section. So now once you're at the shoe section, you want to go to boots, then you want to scroll down to number 47, I'm pretty sure it is, which is the crimson cowboy boots. So yes, yeah, number 47, so the Crimson Cowboy Boots, you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you equip them, just back out of that shoe, se um, shoe section. Now bring up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor and equip the heavy armor. So now once you equip that, just back out of the interaction menu. Now you can just go ahead and save this outfit and now you're done. So it's just a single component outfit for this modded outfit. So I'll just save that, and also, um, if you guys are wondering why this is like a different component outfit here, it's because I, I was doing two modded outfits. So if you guys want to see that outfit, I'll be able to learn that in two days. So just make sure you're around for them. So I'd recommend post notifications if you don't want to miss that. So now anyways, for the first step of the transfer glitch, you want to bring up your interaction menu and just take the easy way out, just like I did there. So what this will do, this will force a game save for the component we just made. Now bring up your pause menu, go to online and go down to creator, then just go ahead and start creator. So now you just want to go ahead and wait to load it into the creator, me um, creator menu. So if you, if you don't know how to make a race, that's completely fine. I'm going to be showing you guys what to do. So you want to go over to create a race, and you want to go down to land race. 
so now it will bring me back up to the sky and then it will zoom back down so now for the race details the title and description can just be like a few random letters doesn't really matter and now for the photo you can just take around the photo of the sky so I do here now for the maximum players you want to make sure that it's set to 2 and then the root type is point to point you need to make sure them two are correct now for the default class you can just change it to like super and just choose your own car just to speed it up now for the select trigger location you want to hover over that then bring up your pause menu then go onto the map and then just walk over to the airport just like I do here so now once you've walked to the airport you just want to wait till you've loaded into the airport now you want to roughly copy what I do so just place like the trigger just around that location take a lobby camera just like that but now for the checkpoints you want to make sure there is 0.75 miles to, so the race length is 0.75 miles or if you can make like 0 0.74, 0 0.77, anything like that but I just like to do 0 0.75 because that works for me every time so if you want you can do like 0 0.77 but I just, wanted to, I just wanted mine to be 0 0.75 because that works for me every time so now once you finish the checkpoints you want to go ahead and test the race so now once you finish testing the race you should get this alert on your screen just go ahead and accept that now bring up your pause menu and go over to online and go to choose character so now once you've selected that, you just want to go ahead and wait to load it into the choose character menu. So now for the next part, we're going to be deleting the female character. So once you've loaded in, you want to hover over your female character. So in a second, you just want to wait till you've loaded in. So now once, you, once you've loaded in, just go over to the female character and press square or X to delete. Then it will make you type in delete to delete the female character. So now once you've typed that in, it'll say um, alert deleting character from GTA Online, just something like that. And then once you've seen that, these two characters will walk back out, so it should be like a second female character, or like it could be a male character. So now once you see your two characters, you want to back out to story mode, and you want to make sure you don't select your male character, because otherwise I'll just completely mess up the glitch. You want to press B or circle to back out to story mode, and just wait till you go into story mode. So just make sure you do that, and you don't select your male character, because it'll just completely mess up the glitch. So now once you've loaded back into story mode, you just want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, and then you can either go to a public lobby or invite only lobby. I recommend a public lobby because like with the cookie cop, if you start a cookie cop, it can put you in like someone else's lobby, so it'll just save you time waiting for um, like waiting for someone to join your cookie cop. So I'd just recommend going to a public lobby just for that. So I'll see you guys once I've loaded into GTA Online. So once you guys have loaded into GTA Online, you just want to make your way over to your wardrobe in your apartment. Or if you're not in your apartment, then just make your way over to like a clothing store. So now you just want to go ahead and save this outfit in the last slot so it doesn't get in the way of like the modded outfit. So now once you've saved it, you want to back out of there. Or just back out of like the, uh, the wardrobe, like the clothing section. Now you want to bring up your interaction menu, go to style, then go down to accessories. And then once you're, in, once you're accessories, you want to go down to the scarf section. And you want to go ahead and scroll through the scarves uh, until you find the black desert scarf or if you don't already have the black desert scarf then just go over to the accessory section in the store and just equip it from there now bring up your pause menu go to online jobs play job rockstar created then go down to verses and start cricket cop so usually when you're in a public min uh, public lobby it'll put you into like someone else's that's what it did with me so if you want to do that as well um just go into a public lobby but if you wanted to invite only session you'll have to wait for someone to join yours so as you guys can see i got put into someone else's one so just make sure they're, they're on player owned as well. So now once you load in, you want to go to owned outfits and press run a d-pad once and then ready up. So you should see this like white top modded outfit, so the modded outfit in the thumbnail, and which I showed you at the start of the video. So now you just want to go ahead and wait till everyone else in the lobby is ready up. So I had to wait like um, the full 30 seconds because there was quite a lot of people in the lobby. So now everyone's ready up, so now you just want to wait until you load it in. So now as you guys can see, I'm about to load in, just like here. So now you should see the modded outfit and you just want to wait until you can move around so it might take a couple of seconds because like this little like cutscene kind of thing. So now once you've loaded in bring up your interaction menu, go to style accessories and equip an earpiece or a rebreather. Now once you've done that just bring up your phone, go to job list and then press square and X or X and A if you're on Xbox to just quit the job. So now you just want to go ahead and wait to load back into GTA Online so it should take a couple of seconds. And then you should spawn outside that ammunition store as well. So if you guys watch my videos regularly, you'll see that I spawn behind that ammunition store. But this time, I spawn like in the front. I think it's because like all the other people in the cookie cop mission. So as you guys can see, I've loaded back into the lobby outside the ammunition store. 
So now once you spawned in, just make your way inside the ammunition store. Then if you want, you can take off the rebreather. I would recommend that because in the next part, I'm going to show you how to get the um, helmet and mask in the thumbnail. So just go ahead and save the outfit. And then once you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component as well. Like the component for the modded outfit. So just go over to the component and press Y or triangle to delete it. So now once you delete it, you want to back out of the clothing section. Now make your way over to the mask store, just like I do here. So now once you're at the mask store, you want to go to the mask section. Go down to Diamond Casino Heist. Now you want to scroll until you find, I'm pretty sure it's like number 54, I believe. It's like this white leather half face. So I'm pretty sure it's like 54 or something, or like 40 something. So you want to keep scrolling until you find it, it's the white leather half face. So it's 57, sorry. Not 57, sorry, that's the smoke half face. So I'm pretty sure it's like number 46. It's number 45, so the white leather half face, number 45. And then you want to also make sure you have the bulletproof helmet equipped before that, so you can just put it on straight away. Then I just decided to add some gloves as well. So that is the uh, outfit done. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy my content. So I'm currently on the road to 3k subs, and you guys have just been smashing the support recently. So I just want to thank you guys for that. And also comment if you want to see more outfits like these. I haven't really done like these type of outfits before. I've only done a few CEO outfits. Anyways, it's been your boy Perks. Thanks for watching and peace.